Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I'm going to be showing you how to transform these kinds of mini brushes that usually are included in eyeshadow palettes. They're tiny and they're real hard to work with into like longer brushes so that they are easier to use. So a lot of like makeup brands include mini brushes. Most of them are pretty hard to work with because they're really short and a lot of people don't actually use them. And this brush that I have right here, it's from this Milani eyeshadow palette that they used to offer. This brush, I never got rid of it because the bristles are pretty soft, but it's tiny and it's really hard to work with as opposed to my other brushes that are like longer and they are easier to use. What I'm going to be doing with this is just break the whole thing because all of the components are glued. These things, like most brushes, are usually just glued in. So it's a matter of loosening up the glue a bit and then just pulling that apart. And then you have like these two guys. To make this a brush though, I'm going to be using a pair of like wood pencils, like the stuff that you use for school. This has a triangular shape. Feel free to work with the round one. This one is like super sharp and like there is no space for it. It, but I'm going to be taking my uh, X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut the pointy part. I just bought this like this so if you have like an old pencil that you don't actually use you can go ahead and use it for this and yeah just make sure that fits in there. I'm just gonna be using the super glue, I'm going to be adding that on the uh, like pencil part and then I'm just gonna be holding it for a few seconds and wait for it to dry and set. And once that's done, so now you have this longer brush, but you still have like the other end part, the eraser part. So I'm just going to be pretty much forcing the whole thing again. This is pretty much glued again, so I'm just going to be pulling it. So then when I did that, the paint was peeling off, so I just went with it and just removed the whole thing with my exacto knife. But if you want to keep like the smooth surface, um, just skip this step. Then I'm going to be customizing this, painting them with my vintage white acrylic paint, covering the whole thing, giving this a few coats, and then I'm going to be adding some like shine using my Sculpey uh, glaze gloss, and again, giving these few coats until it's like glossy and they look like new. And this is pretty much it. I'm actually glad I went for this because now I have two newish brushes. It's way easier to use brushes when they are easier to hold. Now I have a brush that I can use for whenever I do my makeup, and I have this other brush for painting. So you're gonna see a lot of this for upcoming DIYs. But yeah, I really hope you like this and you find this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out more DIYs that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!